right, thank you for staying with Daybreak. Let's get into the political situation now. We are calling in the 2022 succession plan of the race to state house. And Governor Mutu, I'll start with you on this one. Yes. On Friday, ODM leader Raila Odinga was received by your team, yourself, who was there, Governor Gilu, Kivuda. Are you still running for president or are you now backing the ODM leader? No, no, I'm, I'm running for president. And I'm running for president in a system. You see, the way the country works is that you cannot run for president by yourself. You have to be in a coalition of the willing. And I've looked at the players that are going around as a presidential candidate myself. And I've seen what President Uru Kenyatta, through the handshake, is doing with Raila Odinga with Azimio Laumoja. This says that let us bring Kenyans together, like-minded Kenyans together, to talk about our unity as a people, whereby you are not judged on where you came from. You're not judged on your tribe. You're not judged on your gender. You are judged as a Kenyan who has a right to go forward. So I went to that function to support Desmio Laumoja and support what Uhuru Kenyatta and Ray Lodinga stand for. And if there's a coalition that I'll join, and I've said, if I was not running for president myself, I would rather vote for Ray Lodinga than somebody else because I've seen the players and I've been there as a government spokesman. I know the files of all these people. I've seen the people and the way they behave. And I've looked, at the, I've looked at them and seen their hearts, if I can say that. You know? And I've seen what they stand for for this country. But because I'm running, I'm in that group that is saying that Kenya needs to be united as we move forward. We cannot continue to have a politics whereby just because I'm running for president, you're running for president, we have to be enemies. We don't have to be enemies. We can move together in uniting this country and still go to the ballot separately. And we can even get to a point where you say Mutua is better placed at this time to lead this country, young, energetic, and move forward. Or we can get to a place and say Raila Odinga is better placed at this time. Or maybe a coalition of Mutua and Raila is better placed, the older and the younger, to galvanize this country and take it forward, or anybody else for that matter. So. People here get confused that just because you support somebody's position does not mean that you're relinquishing your desires or others. You know, we become a country of either or. It's like when I come here and I say that I like something that uh, Deputy President William Ruto has done or said, doesn't mean that automatically now I'm not running for president because now I'm supporting whatever Ruto did or said. No, you don't have to hate each other just because you're politicians. Yeah. We've worked together. You know, and you'll see more coalitions coming together, people joining hands. That does not mean that I have relinquishing my dream yeah. to take over the running of this country, okay. which needs a fresh start for our people. But I've not seen you do the same with the deputy president. Is it that you don't agree with <laughs> anything that is said? Yes, yeah, because I'm not aligned to his way of doing things and nothing against him. I think he's a tactician. He's very good at what he does. But I have problems with his integrity. Uh, I have problem with some of the things that, and the way he does some things. That is just personal to me because, as I said, I've read his file from all those days. I know some of the things he's done. I, I know him. I know Ray Lodinga. I know my running mate here. I know Bunia Lwale. You know, it was my job to know people. Okay. And I know them and I have good memories. Maybe I even have copies. You know, so I know people. And I'll be writing a lot in my book about some of these people and things I know because you don't just support people because you're supporting them for women. It's like last time when I ran for office and uh, they told me, people are telling me, Unajua, kuna NASA wave. Uwa chana na mambo ya ya Uhuru Kinyata, wewe back NASA. Semo nana NASA, wewe sema Kalonzo Tosha, Rila Tosha. Nekisema hapana? For me, my politics, because me ni mtu wa msimamo, I'm backing Uhuru Kinyata's re-election because I think that's the best for this time. Yeah. Nikambua uwa mutua basi forget. Your politics is over. Umejimaliza. Nisama hapana, I stand for what I believe in. They thought I'm finished. Wakuja huko, wakasema NASA, hey, NASA, hey, NASA, hey. Nikawa NASA. Mm. I will retain my seat as governor with my own political party, my little chap chap, yeah. that has member of parliament for Lamu, member of parliament for, for Baringo Yakati, member of parliament, uh, you know, I've got uh, women rep in Tana River, I've got men of, you know, I have four members of parliament, I have about 40 MCAs, yeah. new political party, because <coughs> I stood for what yeah. I believe in. So don't get swayed, be a person of ideology. And so the reason I don't support William Ruto is because his ideology and mine are not in sync. Yeah. In the future, they may be in sync, but right now they're not in sync. Mine and that of Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga are more in sync. Okay. You know? So when push comes to shove, you will support Raila Odinga? 
when sh uh, push comes to shove, I hope Ray Lodingo will support me. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Dr. Alwale, do you buy that argument from you know, Dr. Wutu? Sometime this week, <laughs> one of the dailies uh, posed a question. Is Dr. Alfred Mutua for real? Mm -hmm. I didn't follow the story, but it had something to do with what you went through in the United States of America. It begs for the same question now. Are you for real? On a program like this, it's not ethical mm. for me to take you on and you to take me on. We are, we are discussing the state of the nation. But fair to say, my brother, that one of the greatest leaders in Africa, Nelson Mandela, said, not in exactly the same words, mm. but he said, a man who changes based on who he is talking with or dealing with that kind of man is not fit exactly. to lead a nation. Mm -hmm. Dr. Alfred Mutua, you are a presidential candidate. When you went to Kibra by election and you are lined up with Professor Weza Kibuna, Charity Ngilu, Waiguru, uh, by Raila, that you are now in his camp that was facing us. Fair enough. You had a candidate in the senatorial by-election of Machakos. And I met you on the campaign trail. You were campaigning for your guy. I was campaigning for my guy. But in the dying minutes, again, Raila and President Uhuru whipped you, and you pulled your man out of the rest. Mm -hmm. Then come the incidents that uh, Trevor is now speaking to. You go and read a statement that was endorsing Raila Dinga. How do you want us to take you for real? And when he's, he challenges you fairly, based on your answer, you say the reason why you have not extended the same to William Ruto is because of issues of integrity. Again, I beg, we can't discuss people personally. I read the Auditor General's reports on Machakos and how you run your government. Mm -hmm. And with all those audit queries, do you really want to go that route? Maybe not. So just be clear, are you a presidential candidate or we have pulled out? In fact, this morning I was coming to tell my brother to look for a different running man <laughs> <laughs> or to run for, to run for somebody else. <laughs> I know you. Uh, so that we take this country seriously. And then finally, a Kenyan was telling me uh, last night when we were discussing you on this mm. same issue mm. that uh, Dr. Alfred Mudua practices exactly the same politics with Songo. Politics of drama. The only difference is that the drama of Mutua, as opposed to Songo's, it is the educated type of drama as opposed to Songo's type of drama. And we were actually referring to Justice Chetambe's issue. <laughs> yeah. So is it in the DNA of you people <laughs> that you do politics the way Songo and you are doing a lot of drama that actually has no substance? Okay. Let me, I'll allow you to clarify. Let me, let me just clarify. You know, you know, but, <laughs> let, let him clarify before, that I'll come before, to you. Before, <laughs> he has a direct okay. attack. You see, <laughs> you know, <laughs> let us avoid what you call simplicity of mind. Yes. Of what people think it's either or. <clears throat> and let us realize that we are in a country whereby, or in a system whereby, you don't have to either be against or for. Simplicity of mind tells you it's either black or white, it's never gray. Simplicity of mind tells you that if I have problems with him uh, politically, then I have to have problems with him personally. We can differ ideologically, but not differ personally. So let's not have simplicity of mind thinking that just because somebody is positioned this way, that they can also, 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 be also have a view about another position. That just because I do not support somebody, that I hate them for example. You know, uh, and uh, let me, you know, Malcolm X, you quoted Malcolm X said earlier on, Malcolm X also said that a man who stands for nothing will fall for anything. Right. You have to realize that where we are in this country today, and the reason that Uru Kenyatta joined hands with Raila Odinga 
It's not that Kiru Kenyatta was shifting goalposts or everything. It's because he saw what is important for this country. And that handshake calmed this country and we were able to move on. Some people will never grasp that. They will think that uh, Uru Kenyatta is wishy-washy. No, 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 no. You, it's, it's wisdom. And wisdom at this time is telling me that I need to take a position that says I'm aligned to this kind of thinking as we move forward because I want to take over this country that is united. I want to be able to inherit this country from Uru Kenyatta, a country that is united. So I'm not going to be shifty shafty and all this. <laughs> and uh, my friend, let me tell you, I've been very focused. And uh, Mwai Kibaki celebrated 90 years, and happy birthday, Mwai Kibaki, uh, of, of his age, you know. And one of the reasons that I'm sitting here today is because I've never been watermelon. I've always been very principled in what I do. Where Mutua stands, you know Mutua stands there. And where I stand, I'll never shift. I don't just shift, you know? And I've been in that position of supporting Uru Kenyatta and Relo Dinga from the word go. Yeah. When I stood up and read that statement, that statement was talking about as Mio La Umoja and what Uru Kenyatta and Relo Dinga are standing for. And as a community, we decided this is the position we want, yeah. where it's a position of peace. We don't have people coming and bribing our children with their corrupt money. Okay. Lastly, on the issues of integrity, mm. my friend, everybody has an audit query, including Uru Kenyatta, including yourself when you become governor, you'll have audit queries. Audit queries are, are there, but they are not personal. You have to look at, is there an audit query that touches on me personally, saying Mutua did this or this? No, the audit query is about systems. I'm not afraid of any audit query. Nobody has accused Mutua of stealing any money. Nobody has ever accused me of taking bribes. Oh. Nobody has said Mutua account for your wealth that you don't know where you got it from. No, nobody has, because I'm as clean as they come. I don't believe, and one of the reasons I cannot work with William Ruto is because in my background, in my head, I know some of the things that he has done you know, in terms of integrity. And you don't want to go there, because we can start putting documents on the ground. You know, he has issues. Talk to him, tell him to talk to me. I'll give him examples that we know about. Okay. You know, and we don't want to get into that area. So you can never threaten me with issues of integrity about me. Bring it forward. I have nothing to hide as Mutua myself, okay. because one of the reasons Machakos is doing so well and people ask me, Mutu, where do you get the money to build roads? Where do you get money to do this and this? It's because I don't do deals. All the money that comes to my people goes to my people. And that's what we want in this country. Okay. When I employ my people, I don't look at your tribe. I look at your qualifications. Right. And that is what has been done. So it is important. But nonetheless, the lessons that we're learning here is this. In our politics as a country, we need to be people who are based on ideology. Which position do you stand for? Which ideological parameters do you operate on? Don't shift goalposts. You can have an ideology of this position, and later you're able to, to take over different positions. Yeah. I think so, my running bet so, here will agree. Yeah, so you're saying this is, <laughs> a, 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 this is a support on a principle <laughs> and not on a aspirant or a candidate. It's a principle. OK. It's a principle. Well, yeah. Do you buy that argument? No, or have you lost the running? <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I, you've, you've really uh, blended this <laughs> into, <laughs> into a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start so, from where you want so, to start. So, so it is... Uh, the Friday event, what it, did you see? It is a little uh, difficult for me to discuss the character of, uh, you know, Alfred Motua. Uh, necessarily, or his choices, not yeah. character, but his, the choices he makes, because those, those are his choices as, 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 a, as a candidate, as a person that he would choose to align himself with that, with, with that uh, alignment or this person, those are personal choices. Yeah. And, uh, and so uh, on, on that, I really don't have to take him on because um, uh, he's, he's free. And, and so do I have my choices, so does uh, Bonnie Hawale. So, so, uh, so, so let that be as yeah. it is. Now, I think, uh, you know, the question of running mate, we have always been buddies here, and, uh, you know, he has his party. Yeah. Uh, you know, I also have mine. And, and we are thinking at one point, maybe we may weigh the two and say who becomes who's running mate, <laughs> you know. And, uh, and so uh, we, we, we move on, and uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, let him uh, keep his, his mind. And, and I think, uh, you know, let, let, let's have that openness yeah. in, in, in our political landscape so that you, can, you are free to idealize and, 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 and unite with those that you think will work with you. You, you know, uh, Trevor, part of what I would want to agree with in the uh, discussion is that um, this country is at a, is a verge whereby 
Moving forward, it is very difficult for any one person to ever become president now. You must build alliances. Alliances must be built alongside uh, lines of ideological convergence yeah. that you'll be seeing that we see things together, we see things the same way, and this is what we would put together to sell to this country. And uh, if a uh, governor uh, feels that that is where he's best place to align, uh, I, I believe that's, that's his choice. Now, if you ask me on the way forward uh, for this country, yeah. we'll, we'll have to start now doing serious questioning of all these alliances. And this is my position as, 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 a, as, as a, an elected leader in this country. Now, we, we, we really now need to do uh, absolute critical analysis of, of the offers of Azimiola Umoja and all the things they have said and the offers of the bottom up and whatever and all the things that they've said. And we'll be asking ourselves as a country, what is likely to be uh, more, uh, more implementable, more real, you know, and actually promisable and actionable? Those are the questions that I think Kenyans now need to start asking themselves. What will take us to the next level where we want to be? Because one of the interesting things is that, Trevor, the entire political debate this time yeah. and the decision points will be on the economy. At least that narrative has been shaped by now. Yeah. That it is about how people are going to be. It's, about, it's, it's either, uh, you know, uh, the, the, the offer to give the 6,000 shillings to every family and uh, the, 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 that uh, political ideology and, and, and economic thinking and then the bottom-up approach and, and, and so on. Uh, I, was, I was amusing myself uh, yesterday uh, in the newspapers. There was, a guy who, there was a guy who went to the, I think he went to court claiming that he, he, that he owns, the, <laughs> he owns the bottom up approach and, and, and the, the, the group of uh, the DP should be bad yeah. <laughs> anymore from using the bottom up approach. He says it is his idea. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that may be, made me a bit amused yesterday. I don't know how, how he got that. Because uh, how, how do you own for example, an ideology, <laughs> you know, <laughs> whereby you say, for example, we are going to be uh, using, uh, you know, this socio-economic plan. I, I, maybe, maybe he's just a, an inst interesting guy, but I, th I believe Bonnie will comment on that <laughs> when it gets to his opportunity. I just want to say to Kenyans, yeah. because um, the other debate has passed me on, on uh, the, the, the personal issues around uh, Dr. Motua's choice or, or Hello that, that's, that's way offside my, my line of you know, uh, thinking. Yeah. Uh, I just want to advise Kenyans that uh, I think what we'll have to do this time uh, is to take a step back and look at, 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 at the arena and the players and how they're rolling out and not necessarily get mixed up in the dance. First, let's observe from, from the sidelines and see uh, what does it tell us from both and what, what are we more likely to buy. Yeah. And, and Personally, uh, from where I stand, uh, I will be buying into the one that I think is, is, is more real, is more actionable. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm out there serving my term and, and uh, working out with my team in Jubilee to deliver on what we promised the people we are going to deliver until yeah. 2022 in August. Just before then, when the bell rings, I'm looking at the arena. Okay. And uh, once I see where my heart draws closer to what looks like I can action on, yeah. that's where I'll go. You know, one of the things that I'll stand with if this becomes a, a question of personal choices is I believe in going through the course. And so I'll only choose a course that I know I can live for and stand for and go with all the way to the end. Okay. So, so, I mean, I, th th that's, that's where I am. I believe that's where most of us Kenyans would like to be. All right. Yeah. Dr. Alwale, let's talk about the Mount Kenya region. And uh, Governor Kiraitu Murungi said that the DP has political entitlement. In fact, he said, Mary Mekua Kwake Lini. That's what his question was. But in all fairness, is there some kind of political entitlement to the Mount Kenya region, and I'd like to hear this from all of you, because whether it's ODM leader Raila Odinga who says, Mimi ndio nilisema kibaki tosha, now there's the deputy president who says, Mimi ndio nilisema uru wababa tosha hapa hivi. Is there some kind of political entitlement to Mount Kenya that people feel because of what they've offered, then they need to get the votes automatically? Uh, all that we, sh we are saying is admissible, because a deputy president must look for and hope to get votes the best way he can. And so should Ryla. Mm. And that's why they're working very hard. 
we can't fold either one, either, either one of them. However, given that Kreitu has gone all out of his way to remain as Kenyans, that he went to Harvard School of Law, and therefore he's a very clever man. I want to also remind him that that same intelligence that took him to Harvard should inform them that the deputy president is not the deputy president of one community in Kenya or one region. He's the deputy president of Kenya, all the Kenyan communities included, plus all the regions of Kenya included. So when somebody like Great, who we respect a lot, our country has given him the privilege to serve us at, the high, at, at, at very high levels. When he reduces himself to a villager and says that uh, uh, Meru is not uh, part of the territory uh, that the deputy president should lay claim on, he's missing by a mile. The deputy president is also the deputy president of Meru. Iyo Manene entitlement, he should not hide in it. He has goofed, he should apologize and remind the young people who admire him for his uh, outstanding political and legal contribution on the national growth of this country, mm. that he had the deputy president is welcome anywhere in the country. Why should he apologize though? You're saying he should apologize, why? Yes, he's apologized because he's telling the deputy president that on his endeavor to persuade people to vote for him, he's selling either a culture or an attitude of entitlement. The deputy president humbles himself before all the crowds that I've seen. I have now seen a presidential candidate who actually prays in rallies. That is humbling. That is not entitlement. So it is not a route for him to go. Allow me to just highlight a small thought that has come on the floor. Uh, my brother, Governor, you have said that you are being driven by the issue of integrity to choose between the deputy president and the former prime no, minister. No, many, many issues. And many other it's, issues. It's one of them. And but one of them being integrity. If we had time, and we don't have the time, mm. I would have referred you to the short story of the houseboy, the owner of the house, and his wife, the houseboy who used to steal wine. So the, 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 the employer thought the boy didn't have integrity because he was stealing wine and adding water. But the, the houseboy eventually showed him that integrity is not just limited to stealing wine. It includes other things. That's for another day. The second point I want to mention to you is when you choose between the former prime minister and the deputy president, you're confirming that you are in the old school. And this is why I say it off camera, that you are in the wrong place. You are young, you are very educated, you have climbed up the ladder very fast, you are very popular in Machakos. You can do more than just using the old school of selling fear. BBI was nothing but just fear mongering. The so-called Azimio La Umoja is nothing but just fear mongering. What young people want us to speak to, as Matangi has said correctly, they want us to speak to their future. And their future is about jobs. Their future is about their hustles. It's not about their tribes. It's not about the unity of, their, of tribes. I was talking to an aspiring governor and uh, two days ago I was in her office. She wants to be governor in Nairobi. And she told me one daughter is married to Aluya, mm -hmm. another one married to Aluo. She, uh, there is another child in the house who I don't know is a Masai or something. So those youths, you are wasting your time talking about uh, unity of tribes and things. Sell opportunity to our youth. And finally, uh, my brother, given where we are, don't you think it is just about time? People like you and I, who if God allows us a bit of uh, health 
and longevity. We might have another reasonable period to serve the public. Don't you think it is time we said, let us stop here and let us make a clean start? Because if, if you keep on blaming people, I've been in public accounts, I've read all the accounts of these people, including Raylo Dinga's performance when he was prime minister, all of them. Those skeletons, they are best left locked up in the cupboard. It's of us opening. Don't you think we should start afresh and now drive the economic agenda so that we move Kenya to where it is supposed to be? Kenya is so highly resourced yeah. that we do not have to sell fear for us to be accepted as people who can lead this country. Okay. No, I think this, the simple thing is that we also don't need to to bribe people yeah. and give people money okay. for them to be aligned to you. Uh, and this issue of going around the country, giving handouts to our young people and to our poor people so they can support you is wrong. You know, and uh, we need to be a country whereby we will be looking at a person's, we look at a person's background, ability, and we look at whether this person can actually deliver to Kenyans as we go forward, not the person who bribes you. We need to be issue-based, but we'll get to that. And the, the advantage thing, and I agree with Dr. Alwale, that uh, the most important thing right now we need to realize is that Kenyans, especially the young people, don't care about tribes. You know, we we go to where, where we marry where we want, we, we hang yeah. out with where we yeah. want. It doesn't matter, the tribe issue does not matter. Yeah. Adol cocoons. But the, also the reality is that you cannot wish away experienced people and, uh, and say we don't need them anymore. We can learn from them as we take over the running of this country. As I always said, you know, Mambo ni fresh. We need a fresh start in this country. And I'm glad you're saying that. We need a fresh start in this country. We need new blood while they're still strong to be able to lead this country into the future. But that does not mean that you cannot work with others as you work towards your own agenda. Okay. It's being smart about it. All right. Yeah. Matangi, and this, well, you will bring you back to the Mount Kenya issue. Yes. Yeah. Are you seeing some level of entitlement <laughs> there uh, on that, both sides? That, 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 that's why you started. It. Yes. Yeah, and and we're back to it now. And I think uh, it's, it's a good place to be. Yeah. I mean, to, 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 to talk about. Mm. Because, you know, um, facts are that you know, Mount Kenya region now is uh, is the shopping mall <laughs> for <laughs> for All this, presidential candidates. Most of these presiden presidential candidates, given the fact that um, we have more than six, almost seven million votes, yeah. and and you cannot call that a swing vote. That's a deciding vote, if you get it. Yeah. And I remember I, I, last week when we were speaking, I, I gave um, I reminded Kenyans. If you remember the number of votes that were, were, were garnered by the winning presidential candidate uh, in our last election, it was just about 8 million plus. So those are just a few votes, uh, you know, to be a winner's vote. So, so it, uh, this, these gentlemen are not, are not mistaken when they make Mount Kenya uh, their, uh, their play field for yeah. the time being. I think it's, it's just the tactics, that, that, that's, that's the only thing, that, that, that's an issue. And you started with this, this with um, Governor Kiraito's comments. Yes. That was uh, the main issue that you, that you brought about. And if you look at his comments, I would, I would want to give it to him uh, in only two, two things. First, uh, I think he felt slighted by the comments by the Deputy President when he, when he went there. You yeah. know, on the question of uh, Niujinga, Kuzungusha, Mutu Hapa, Nini Nini. And, you know, as, as I've been on record here, uh, having said that uh, all these gentlemen are welcome to Mount Kenya region. The Deputy President is very welcome to, 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 to go around Mount Kenya and uh, sell his economic model. We need to also own up to the fact that, uh, Trevor, both of the sides, uh, that is the Raila Odinga side and uh, the Deputy President side, have floated those two different <laughs> economic models. And the economy is a matter of life and death for the people of Mount Kenya region. And so they want to hear, uh, when, when we are being told that this is how the Azimiola Umoja group is going to unroll its economic model, and that's why I said, let's not cheat ourselves, uh, uh, Trevor. 
that indeed the prime of the battle now, the what people want to sell most in the two camps is the economic model. And, and so this one of uh, empowering people from the base by giving uh, the 6,000 per family and uh, you know all the other things they said and the 2 billion I think that had, has been set aside, uh, that's, that, that's what most of the people in Mount Kenya region are, are listening to. This other uh, narrative of the bottom up and empowering people, th that is why you find people are coming out in big numbers to listen keenly. The, 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 having said that, this, these two gentlemen are very welcome in the team. I think the type and style of the, co of, of the campaign is really what was an issue. On the one question of should uh, the deputy president, once he goes out to the county, maybe call out a name of an individual person, for example, like Kiraitu Morungi, you have done this, or whoever this one, you have done that. Maybe, if it was my advice, but I, I don't advise him, yeah. I, I, would, I would advise him to, to limit to uh, selling his model, uh, campaigning for his people, the one that he's with, and ensuring that uh, people get to understand really, but mentioning the names of the individuals that were Trevor and Anin and Anin, that one, if it was my advice that he was acting on, I would tell him limit that one. It yeah. is not necessary because uh, there are many people who will also be following that one person. And, and maybe they may even want to convert to you at a later date. And so uh, if, if it becomes frictional and personal at that level, then, uh, you know, it, it, it loses the momentum and the, and the goodwill yeah. uh, th that's there. So I believe to the extent that he says all the things that he'll be saying, this is how we'll empower people, this is how we're going to do, yeah. this is good for you, all that is all right. And, uh, and, and uh, drumming up support for the person who supports him, he goes to Kakamega, I saw him with Bonnie Halwale in the same vehicle. Yeah. And uh, out there both in yellow, saying the thing, that is okay. You know, at the end of the day, once they've done that, if there is any issue about uh, Oparanya or whatever, uh, as far as his ideology is concerned, you know, and whom he supports, he can leave that out. But if it is on the ideological issues where they differ with uh, that person, then he can say these guys are running a model that we believe cannot work yeah. for you people. That is admissible. I, I think what, what we are just saying is that if you personalize it, to the extent that it looks like it is, uh, he did this, you, whatever, and name calling, yeah. then, then I think it, it, it will become offensive. Okay. So, but, but I think, uh, you know, uh, in, 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 in the end all, they will need to come to Mount Kenya, all of them, and tell us more, yeah. in my thinking. They need to convince us at but the end of the day. You know, you know what happens? Yeah. Uh, let, me, let me just make this point, because I think uh, mm. people forget quickly how Mount Kenya people behave. I am from that region. I'm yeah. born there. And people listen a lot. They come, they will listen, they will listen, they will listen. They go home, they go, come and listen and listen. And then at the end of the day, they go home and make a decision mm. based, on, based on what they had, you know, and what they believe. Yeah. And, and, and the, when they come out, they just have not just come out uh, just because they think that they love you so much. I mean, if you look at all of them when they come, they, 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 their places are packed. Yeah. If Raila is there, the, his rallies were packed the last time. If you see the rallies of Deputy President, they are packed like this. Good. But our people are listening. When they listen, people are just going to retreat. And they say, because now we, we look like we are the bride uh, this time. Yeah. <laughs> so how do, you, how do you find these proposals and these offers? And then we'll be coming out and making a decision. So the crowd will not so, definitely translate to votes? No, no I, I don't think it does. In most cases, if you look at the voting pattern and results of uh, the people from, of Mount Kenya, it does not necessarily mean that those crowds result or automatically mean that that's how the numbers look like. Okay. So the more, the better. <laughs> you know, the more they market themselves, the better. We are ready to listen okay. and, and, and uh, see whom we are able to work with. Right. And we are open, by the way. And uh, that's uh, something that everybody needs to understand because I'm from that region, like yeah. I've said, and I'm an elected leader there. We are open. We'll be listening to everybody. And, and we'll go with what we think works for our people best and mostly what works for us and works for the rest of the country, so that we can have one country. All right, Dr. Yeah. Luala, I start taking closing remarks from you, because there's also another team, Mount Kenya Unity Forum, in fact, that, that's led by Honorable Mata Karua, Speaker Justin Muturi was also there, when Mwangi Kiunjuri, they were meeting, and they said that our people of Mount Kenya should not be confused. We will give a direction. Respond to that I, I, as you also give your closing I'm remarks. I'm sitting to see, like, mother is changing. It is not the mother that many of us have, have worked with. It is not the mother that very many people admire. She's starting to change. Uh, 
for information, uh, I had a by-election, and mother came and camped in my constituency because she believed in Kenya. So now when I see mother starting to speak about only the people of Mount Kenya, she's changing. She must go back to the old mother who was running for president. The same thing boils down to the element of entitlement. They are there for telling people that we are the ones who are entitled to guiding the people of Mount Kenya to vote one way or the other. But I will tell them that Raila has a point when he says he's entitled. He believes he said Kibaki Tosha. Similarly, Deputy President has a point. He says, I campaigned for Uhuru four times. And three out of those four times, he won. And he goes further and says, it did not just stop there, but Uhuru made an undertaking that I will support you after 10 years. So that sense of entitlement is there. Mutua here, he can choose to go to Mount Kenya with entitlement. He'll say, I was Kibaki's defender as his government spokesman, and he will not be lying. I can go to Nyeri with a very serious sense of entitlement. I'll tell them that uh, Soita Shtanda and I, we were the only ones who withstood the ODM wave in 2007 because we believed in Kibaki, and we campaigned for Kibaki, and brought Kibaki seats, and brought him votes, up to and including my car being touched and I escaped with my life. So everybody has made a contribution at the national level. I want to request mother of all those people I've seen on that screen to reconsider and go back to the original model that we all believe she is. Okay. In fact, me, given a choice, I wouldn't be advising uh, Omatangi that mother should, should be gunning for governor of Kirinyaga. I would love mother to jostle out either to eventually become president or becomes a running mate. Okay. She's better cut for that kind of person than the kind of politics she's pushing. That's your closing remark as well? Yes. All right. Governor Mutua? <laughs> Mine is, uh, you look at this bribery, uh, charges that, uh, that we've talked about with the prisons and the systems. As a country, we really need to address the issue of corruption. And we've talked about addressing the issue of corruption over and over again, uh, from the top to the bottom. And uh, the day-to-day -day life of people needs to be made easier. We're a very bureaucratic country, which makes it easier for now to ask for bribes, because nothing is crystal clear. Uh, in Australia, and I live there, you apply for a passport today in the morning. You receive it tomorrow in the afternoon via the post office, clearly, very fast and they do their checks and balances and everything. In many countries, you apply for a document, you get it very quickly. You apply, you want to set up a business in uh, Rwanda, for example, uh, six hours, you have your business up and running. In uh, the state of Missouri, United States, it's 30 minutes, you have business up and running. Why does it have to take days in Kenya? Why does it have to take longer in Kenya? And it's free in these other places. Why do people have to, to pay? So this issue has to, we have to make our lives easier. And uh, when you talk about politics, what is politics all about? Politics is about getting leaders who transform our lives. I talked about my trip to the US. I talked about walking down to 369 Huntington Avenue, very proudly, in Boston, uh, sitting down without any fear, you know, uh, enjoying the day, having a good time. Why? Because the systems in that country have made it easier for whoever you are, if you have your own little money, to be able to enjoy life, to pursue happiness. And that's where we need to get here. Yes. So when you look at these elections, and I see people running around different members of parliament, my friend will tell you that uh, 75 to 80% of members of parliament are not re-elected. Yeah. They're not re-elected. And so we know that. So uh, I'm not worried when you see uh, Raila Odinga with many members of parliament, or William Root with many members of parliament, majority will not be re-elected anyway. People have already moved on. That is the, the culture we have in this country. So this country is, is thirsty for a new way. And that is the way that we want to present. That is a new move we want to give to our people that our time has come to liberate our people. When you look at the Mount Kenya issue, you know, and I urge my brothers and sisters from Mount Kenya who have ruled this country from independence, uh, with Jomo Kenyatta, 
with uh, Mwai Kibaki, with Uhuru Kinyata, with their sons who have ruled this country. It is a good thing. And you've not ruled this country because uh, you are Kikuyus or whatever. It's because of the opportunities that have been there and you've got good leaders who've been able to rule this country. A time has come for us to stop thinking in tribal lines. Yeah. Let's not think about we, the Kikuyus, have to go this way. Let's think as individuals. What do you, as a Kikuyu, what do you, as a Kamba, as yeah. a Luo, as a Luya, what do you think is the best person to lead this country in terms of what they will do for your life? Yeah. You know, who will provide employment to your young people? What do you do for your life? That okay. is where we need to get to. Yeah, yesterday, on Wednesday, I was here with uh, Florence Mwangangi, who's the speaker mm. for Machako's County Assembly. Mm -hmm. She said that there's no tapped water in Machako. Uh, well, it depends on where she's looking. There's a lot of tap water in Machakos. But the demand is such that it's so high mm. that it's just a drop in the ocean. We talk about 60 years of independence. I've been a governor for only, what, nine, eight years. You know, 60 years of independence where there's no tap water, no roads, nothing. So we need, we have been able to gain ground. You know, for example, I've been able to pipe 500 kilometers of piped water. You know, in Machakos, the tap water and others. But the demand is about 10,000 kilometers of piped water. I've only done yeah, like a drop in the ocean. Yeah. Because the amount of money we are getting yeah. is not enough to do these works. I've been able to dig over 700, bo uh, not 650 boreholes. I'm going to my 700 boreholes. But really, and done over 500 boreholes, uh, dams and pans. But the demand is, mine is just a drop in the ocean. I have tried, but the need is high. That's why we need a conversation in this country about really pouring money into development. Had okay. we started what we are doing now in 1963 or 65, would be very far. Okay. And it's a sa the same story in Bungoma, in Kakamega, in uh, Isiolo, in okay. Garissa, in Kitui, in Moranga, everywhere. Okay. The demand is higher okay. than what can, what can be said. Yeah. Let us speak for you. Before you came, in Machakos, I had come before you. Mm. I had worked there as a doctor. Having served the people of Machakos as an MOH, I know for a fact that Machakos has changed for the better. Thank you. So whoever is belittling whatever contribution your government has made is because he didn't know Machakos before devolution. You've made a difference. Okay. Thank you. Well, thank you. Yes, uh, uh, Trevor, uh, three issues. First, let me, let me start with what you, 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 you talked about at uh, the Martha Karua meeting yes. with the other, some of the other leaders they call from Mount Kenya, the Mount Kenya Unity Forum. Yeah, and, uh, and, and uh, Trevor, we are having a lot of talks within Mount Kenya region, and many groups are, are sitting in different uh, sessions and places to discuss. Ultimately, uh, aiming at one thing, that, that we are going to have a convergence of uh, thought, a distillation, and a clear itemized list of what are the expectations of our people. I'll tell you why. And uh, I want to marry that with what my, uh, my good friend and running mate here has said on um, uh, that, yes, it's true. We've had the opportunity to step into the leadership of this country alongside the other Kenyans, not alone. If you look at um, when Jomo Kenyatta was president, he, he led this country with uh, other, you know, uh, vice presidents from Saitoti to Moi himself and Moi Kibaki and others. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and definitely with the whole cabinet and, and, and a lot of other communities in this country. Because that's how a country run, runs. It's not run, run by one person. Now, uh, having said that, then, uh, my, my good friend Governor Motua, you realize, like, the other day when you met in Machakos, mm. uh, in, in, uh, that was in uh, Makueni. Makueni yeah. uh, you find that there was even some instances when you're having your conversation and you would break down into the local dialect. Mm -hmm. to, because you speak to people's hearts, yeah. as Nelson Mandela uh, said, when, when, when you speak to them in the language uh, that they understand. And, and, and because that's your community, uh, Trevor, houses build block by block. Mm -hmm. And so when you're talking about building the country, you first have to consolidate that block that is your community. And as others do, do, do that, it doesn't mean that if you sit to have a discussion as a community that you're tribal, you are, you are consolidating that one block so that you can put it together to pile with the rest of the other blocks so that you can build a house called Kenya. And, and, and so uh, every time when we, the people of Mount Kenya region, seek 
uh, to have our community put their minds together and discuss. It should hardly and should stop being seen uh, as, as just a tribal uh, arrangement whereby we want to organize ourselves to get power or to wrestle power. Uh, and, and it should not be threatening, indeed, yeah. to anyone once, once our people do. So uh, it's not only Mother Karu and her team who are meeting, there are very many other teams who are, who are meeting. And what we are trying to do is to ensure that finally we get to sit together. Yeah. And, and so let, let, let that be that. Finally, uh, Trevor, I thought there was a story there that was in the nation that would have had an opportunity to look at. But let me just mention it, because uh, it was on page 8, and this is... Uh, uh, on, on the proposal by ODM, where they are saying showdown looms as ODM, in ODM as Raila backs consensus. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the thoughts I would want to, to, to apply to that is, you see, what Raila was proposing is that the kind of nomination process ODM is going to have is one whereby either the party sits and decides that the best person to run for this particular position is Trevor. And, and such that they are doing away, if, yeah. if this is how they go, they are doing away with uh, the popular uh, universal suffrage method of nomination, where you're going to be, and, and he's saying, they're saying that either you have a consensus amongst yourselves as candidates, you say, between me and Boni and uh, Motoa, that the best person is uh, Wamatangi, go and run, and the, the rest will, will step down. Or then the party sits and decides that it is going to be uh, Boni and everybody else goes home. Yeah. It would be a very interesting thing to, uh, to, to, to see. Uh, one of the things that uh, it is likely to achieve, in my view, is that uh, the chaos, nominations, in nominations and the bribery, the violence and fighting, yeah. that may be something that parties would very well address to do away with. Okay. The flip side of it would be if then that is not done uh, properly without some of the ills we spoke about first because there are times when it has been known that candidates go to parties to buy tickets. Yeah. You'll find that uh, only the rich, rich guys yeah. will finally get nominated because you can go and buy your ticket for five million. So I, I think it is, it, it, it's a chalice, if you like, that can either be uh, sweetened or poisoned. Yep. Uh, depending on how they handle it, it could be a breakaway that could set pace that would lead this country into a more better system of nomination and then virtually the election. Okay. Or then it can have the ignominy of the Mulolongo system if it is not handled well. Okay. But, but I think it is, it, it's something that's worth discussing. Right. Can, yeah, can I just comment briefly. on that? Because as a party leader yeah. of a political party, uh, when we are putting forth our political nomination rules, actually this this concept started with us, Mandelio Chap Chap, whereby we say that um, for elections, for nominations, yeah. you don't really have to go to the ballot. We introduce something called uh, electoral polling system, whereby we'll be able to poll candidates and we we'll bring them together. We tell them, run your poll, we run our poll, run your poll, and you look at who is the most popular candidate. Because you find somebody who is garnering to go for nominations, Atamamaka <laughs> popular. Yeah. So instead of wasting our money and effort fighting among ourselves, why don't we band together and see what we can do for you yeah. and get this person there? Okay. So it's, 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 it's a way of, as he said, uh, removing the chaos. Yeah. Other things also, there's also a sense of equity. For example, I was in uh, Kilifi, and uh, you look at, they say, different communities, whereby the majority, by virtue of majority, you'd find it's only a certain community or sect or a certain clan yeah. that would only get the positions of nominations, which would make others feel disenfranchised. So it's a time to say, let us share from different areas, okay. whereby it will only be maybe the uh, older, richer men. You say, no, let us also give an opportunity to younger people. Let's give an opportunity to women okay. also to vie for these positions. Right. So it's not winner takes it all according to who has the money yeah. and, and the muscle to push. Right. So it, it's more of an affirmative action. And that's what we're doing in Mandela Chap Chap. Okay. So I'm glad I'm seeing that ODM also uh, adopting that system and hope other parties will do the same. Right. Because we want an e a country where people feel equal yeah. and also gives us also the best leaders. Okay, next week we talk about the nomination issues. Thank you so much, Dr. Alfred Muntua, Governor Machakos, Dr. Kimani Wamatangi, Senator Kiambu, and Majority Whip, and Dr. Boni Alwale, former Senator Kakamega. And thank you all for all the feedback that we've seen. We're taking a quick break now. When we come back, it's time for Cooking Tips with Willis Bazu Raburu.
See you in a bit. <laughs> mm.